Solid Energy has had to ask for more time to get Pike River mines sealed. Mark Pisey, the Chief Inspector for High Hazards at WorkSafe, says the mine's owner, Solid Energy, made the application for an extension due to circumstances beyond its control. Solid Energy says it has been prevented from putting the final seal in place within the original time frame, which was this month. It now has until the end of June to do so. The spokesman for some of the families of the 29 Pike victims, Bernie Monk, is encouraged that their sustained protest has had an effect. He says today they gave one of their strongest pushes yet, a move which again forced solid energy vehicles to turn around at the access road to the mine. Quite a few of the family members and their supporters turned up very early this morning and erected um, 29 sort of like mannequin type of effective guys all dressed in overalls of their and some of them is their some of the miners it's their actually their working overalls miners hats with all their tags on and uh, miners boots on and we set them up uh, up and down the road where the guys have got to drive through every day um, to go up to the mine and uh, you know you say 29 and you it's just a number but when you actually see these big guys standing there on the road, 29 of them, it really hit home. It was quite emotional for a lot of the people standing there and the silence was unbelievable. And uh, and, and uh, the effect was when Solid Energy turned up in their trucks, they seen what was there and uh, they stopped there for probably a minute and then they reversed and drove away. Right, so it was a pretty effective kind of protest. Oh, very much so, and uh, probably one of our biggest uh, pushes to the, uh, uh, to date, um, and uh, it was really amazing um, the effect it had on everyone, really, and uh, and everyone said how emotional they felt about it, seeing it. You know, it was a um, why today, Bernie? Uh, well, oh, I think we are try we attempt to do something different every day. And, um, you know, we have the Nurses' Union representative up there today supporting us. Um, um, a lot of people are up there supporting us. And uh, well, we just do something every day. And it's, it's not just about being, you know, up in arms about something. We want to just people to realise how important it is to do this job. Do you think Bill English realises what's going on up there and, and the depth of feeling there? Um, probably not. I mean, uh, they, they, they um, in fairness to them, they're relying on the company um, that they've put in charge to do the job. Um, they left it all up to them. It's uh, the one minute they're saying it's not a political decision, and the next minute, when something hard hitting like this comes along or goes into parliament or whatever, they're the big voice behind it. So they have a dollar each way on everything that's done up there. I think. You, you've just had your meeting with the Prime Minister, Bill English, confirmed for next mm. Wednesday. So some might mm. see this as as kind of an antagonistic move. Well, you know, I, I mean, we're, we're, we're not going to change Solid Energy's um, decision. They're definitely not going to do it. So our thing will be there to impress on him that solid energy have got to go. Now, there's no reason to keep solid energy there. The the seal that they've put into that mine is, um, according to WorkSafe, is all that needs to be done. So as far as we're concerned, let's get rid of them and, and let's get another entity on board of which the government can be part of and our experts part of that as well, and let's sit down the table and discuss the you know the reasons why our, our protest has been going on for so long, and let's make this job happen. Solid Energy was scheduled to hand the mine back to the government this month. Mm. What's mm. the latest on that? Well, the latest is because of probably our yeah, protesting. Uh, we're into over our 12th week now of being up there 24 hours a day. Um, so um, they haven't been able to do any work, and I implore the, uh, the, uh, all the contractors on the West Coast uh, refuse to do any work for them. So they're at a stalemate here, and um, you know they've asked for an extension from WorkSafe, which they got granted. So um, heavens know, knows when it's ever going to get done. So that's another reason for them to move out, move on, and let somebody in there to do what, the job that needs to be done.
Bernie Monk and the Prime Minister Bill English announced yesterday he'll meet with members of the Pike families at Parliament next Wednesday.